Hello viewers, welcome to this video lecture series on Computer Networks Lab. In this session, I shall be demonstrating how to configure and implement DHCP in local area network. So, here, for that, the very first thing we need to do is we'll set up a local area network here. We'll try to use some PCs in the local area network or not only PCs, we can use laptops, some end devices in the local area network. So, for that, we'll make use of the switch. Okay, I'll place the switch here. Then to this switch, let me connect few PCs. PC0, PC1. PC2, PC3. Okay. So here what I have done is I have taken four PCs and I will be connecting this to the switch to form a LAN. Since the PC and the switch are different devices here, the cable that connects these two devices has to be this straight through cable. You can select that straight through cable either using this automatic type of cable selection or you can go directly to this option copper straight through you can see at the bottom of the screen I have placed the PCs like this and the switch here now let me use the copper straight through cable I will use the fast ethernet so we are connecting to this one then comes the next one Here I have used only four PCs. You can connect more number of PCs also. So just first try to know what is the purpose of this DHCP service. And moreover, for to implement this DHCP service, we require the DHCP server. So we'll pick the server and place it here and connect this server to the switch. Next thing is we have to start configuring the server here now before start uh, before demonstrating the configuration for the server let me tell you the use of this dhcp dhcp is a protocol dhcp stands for dynamic host configuration protocol and this is a network management protocol and what is its function it will assign dynamically ip addresses to all the devices that are connected in this lan normally whenever we whenever we try to connect the PCs to a network, the configuration has to be done manually by the system administrator. So as long as we have less number of PCs or systems that are connected in the network, then it is possible for the system administrator to manually configure the uh, PCs. When we have a huge number of devices in the network, then it has to be done in a dynamic way. So for that purpose, we use this protocol, dynamic host configuration protocol. This protocol will configure all these PCs with the IP addresses. So no need for the system administrator to uh, manually configure these PCs. This DHCP protocol is installed in the server here. So the very first step here in order to implement this DHCP service is first assign IP address to this DHCP server. And let me write here on the label what IP address I wanted to assign to DHCP 192.168.16.50 let us take like this 192.168.16.50 so this IP address is what we decided to give to the DS, DHCP server now go click to this server go to desktop click to IP configuration and here by default static will be appearing so let it be static only because we are trying to give in a static manner the ip address 192.168.16.50 subnet mask will appear so this is a class c ipv4 address close this then select services select the protocol here dhcp you can see different protocols appearing so you need to select this dhcp now so look here what has appeared it it is asking to type here the starting ip address for the devices that means suppose now if there are four pcs here 
from PC0, what should be the IP address you want? Suppose if we decide, okay, let us start giving from 50, 60, something like this. So we want this PC0 to have 192.168.16.60. Just type the one address only, the starting address. Now, whatever are the PCs here, remaining PCs in the LAN, all those PCs will also get the IPv4 address in the same in the increasing order of this IPv4 address that you have assigned here in the starting. And look here, maximum number of users 512. So that many number of devices you can connect here. At present to demonstrate, I have shown here four different, uh, four PCs, okay? Then once you do this, you, you need to save, okay? So once you assign the starting IP address and the subnet mask will appear by itself, we have saved this configuration. But one more thing we need to do is we have to click to this on. So we are saying DHCP service on. By default, it will be off. Now you make it on. Save it. So close this and then you need to verify whether really the IPv4 addresses are assigned or not. So start checking from one first PC onwards. Click to PC0 and by default actually static will appear. Now you can see, suppose if I am clicking this to DHCP, what is that I am observing? We had mentioned now there, the starting address should be 192.168.6. So PC0 is assigned with this IP address. Which one? This 192.168.16.60. Fine. So close this. Now let us see what is the IPv4 address that is getting assigned to PC1. So PC1 see what this is what i wanted to tell you by default static will appear now you need to click to dhcp so the first pc0 was assigned with 60 now you can see the next one in the list is 61 now let us see that pc2 should get 62 so desktop ip configuration click to dhcp yes pc2 got 192.168.16.62 Fine. Now PC3 should get DHCP 192.168.16.63. This way all these PCs got the IP addresses assigned by this protocol, which protocol dynamic host configuration protocol. So in this experiment, we have seen how to configure and implement the DHCP service in a local area network. Hope this session is useful to you all. If you find it useful, Please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Thank you. Bye-bye and take care.